12 investigators uncover a white-collar crime case involving a hedge fund set up by an East Providence City Councilman who's now running for state representative. The candidate was never charged, but the man he hired is going to prison after bilking customers out of about half a million dollars. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau has the details you'll, you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Helder Cunha tells Target 12 he was misled by the man he hired, but documents indicate the agency that regulates futures trading initially aimed at least some of the blame at Cunha and his company. When moving in a different direction. Helder Cunha did not want to talk on camera, but told us over the phone. He established Cambridge Capital to start a hedge fund in 2011 and eventually hired David Prescott. Prescott pleaded guilty last November, accused of misappropriating half a million dollars in Cambridge customer money and using it for air travel, hotel accommodations and gambling. Cunha tells us Prescott did not give him his real name when he was hired. Cunha says, quote, I was victimized by an individual who used a fraudulent name. At no time were any of my client's funds misappropriated or misallocated. We just went the administrative complaint filed against Cunha in Cambridge by the National Futures Association states the company never tried to register Prescott with the agency and that if that attempt was made, Prescott's prior felony conviction for securities fraud might have been revealed. In the document, Cunha was also accused of providing false information to the NFA and of using a PowerPoint presentation with customers that, quote, was misleading in that it contained references to potential profits without discussing risk or loss. Cunha told the NFA the violations were unintentional, and he and the NFA would eventually reach an agreement that he would not reapply for NFA membership for a period of five years, and Cambridge is no longer in business. Cunha tells us, I just learned that he he, as in Prescott, was convicted and sentenced for wire fraud, and I believe that is an appropriate action. Prescott is scheduled to turn himself in next month for a 19-month sentence in federal prison. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Walt. The Target 12 investigators are always looking to uncover news. If you want to send a tip or report government waste, call our tip line 228-228-1763. You can also email us at target12 at wpri.com.